In the initial steps of our exploration journey, let's put ourselves in a situation without the protection of law enforcement. Can society protect itself? This video will take you on an experience where we will explore their crime-fighting capabilities and gain a deeper understanding of the vital contribution of the police force to societal safety. A white pickup truck was confirmed to be violating traffic rules by exceeding the speed limit. The police approached the vehicle from behind and intervened at a speed exceeding 100 miles per hour. The suspect's vehicle veered off the road and fell into a small ditch. The driver, who wasn't wearing a seatbelt, fell out of the vehicle when he opened the driver's side door. What seemed like an abrupt arrest turned into an unexpected nap for the suspect. The police tried to wake him up, but to no avail. An ambulance was dispatched, and they attempted to lift him while he still tried to doze off with loud snoring. The suspect had a good nap, but when he wakes up, he might experience a headache like never before. Charges related to the incident will await him tomorrow. The patrol was called to assist in stopping a pursuit in Forest City. After determining the location of the violating vehicle, the police quickly arrived to join this chase. Upon discovering the violating vehicle, the police announced that there was a small child inside, making any intervention more difficult and dangerous. Stop. The violating vehicle continued to attempt to flee while sirens and alarms were activated throughout the pursuit. As they approached, the police also issued verbal commands for the vehicle to stop. Using their expertise and professionalism, the officer quickly blocked all possible escape routes of the suspect. Hands, show me your hands, don't, don't get back, get back, get back. Show me your hands, nobody approach the car until we see some hands. Y'all come around and come to me, somebody put their unit in front of this car. Put your unit in front of this car, somebody else. Driver. Step out with your hands up. Do it now. Driver, step out with your hands up. Do it now. The driver, who turned out to be a woman, resisted the arrest. Despite her efforts, the police successfully apprehended her. The two children in the car appeared frightened as they witnessed their mother continuously crying and shouting. She portrayed herself as a terribly irresponsible mother by putting her children in such dangerous situations. Indeed, the police performed their duty well. The police discovered a vehicle involved in a carjacking moving on the road. When they approached and activated the siren, the vehicle quickly accelerated and fled. The pursuit continued at high speed with the vehicle maneuvering through various road sections to evade capture, even running on the opposite lane. Other vehicles on the road slowed down to avoid collisions. At least two individuals were observed in the pursued vehicle.
Throughout the pursuit, the patrolling police constantly reported the situation and the direction the vehicle was heading, seeking support from their colleagues. The pursued vehicle continued to flee at high speed through several streets, passing by a gas station. Suddenly, the suspect's vehicle stopped in the middle of the road, and four individuals were seen inside. They might be armed. So there's a. Three of them immediately fled on foot, while the remaining suspect surrendered by raising their hands and was apprehended by the police. The other suspects were pursued by additional officers, and all three were caught not far from the scene. The patrolling police noticed some unusual behavior from a white Nissan vehicle. The car moved left, then approached a traffic intersection and unexpectedly made a sudden stop at a red light. As soon as the light turned green, the vehicle quickly accelerated and fled at a high speed. The police suspected a decrease in the driver's capacity due to intoxication. Sirens and lights were activated, but the vehicle still attempted to escape at a speed of 60 miles per hour in a 45 miles per hour zone. The driver stopped on a small road, and the police requested him to lower the window. However, he immediately accelerated hey, again. Show me your hand. Throw that window down. Throw the window down. Put your stand, hands out the window. Show me your hand. Upon closer contact, the police noticed that the driver was continuously observing them through the window and reaching towards the passenger side, seemingly attempting to conceal something. The vehicle, with one rear tire damaged, was successfully subjected to a pit maneuver for the second time. The suspect exited the vehicle and attempted to flee, but was apprehended shortly afterward. Stop! Get on the ground, really my dog! You will get bit! Get on the ground! Here! Here! Get on the ground! You will get bit! A white Audi car exceeded the speed limit while traveling within the range of 75 miles per hour. The vehicle constantly uses turn signals and fled at a speed of over 120 miles per hour does raise suspicions about the driver's behavior among the police.
continuously switching on both turn signals and fleeing. The police monitored from behind and reported the incident to the police headquarters. To prevent the suspect from escaping, the patrol car quickly closed in, but violating vehicle this persistently uses turn signals on both sides, as if it's challenging the patrol vehicle. In fact, the driver even knocked over some divider post on the road and squeezed past the truck to escape. Moving on to the wrong lane and nearly colliding with other vehicles in the opposite lane. The police promptly blocked the suspect at a small road near a residential area. and the suspect remained calm enough to still be able to use a phone, even with a police right in front of the vehicle. The police immediately arrested the driver without any injuries. The chief of a police officer is requesting assistance in pursuing a black pickup truck. The suspect vehicle has disregarded several traffic lights and is currently traveling on Highway 71. At the Young Ridge Road area, the police observed the suspects heading north at a high speed. Three police units are tailing the suspect as it moves into a four-lane road. When the units yield to the right, the police captain becomes the lead unit in the pursuit. As the police attempts to execute a precise pit maneuver, the suspect's vehicle continuously swerves to prevent the pit. On US Highway 71, when traffic clears up, the officer has made multiple attempts to approach but without success. The suspect's vehicle seems to continually dwell to these efforts by twitching lanes and sometimes braking sharply while reaching speeds of up to 90 miles per hour. The suspect daringly overtakes multiple vehicles while driving on the shoulder. It is now crucial to stop this vehicle and the police captain decides to perform another pit maneuver. The vehicle again switches to the opposite lane and then moves back into the inner lane, causing a major collision with the police car. Uh, 
going ahead and start EMS. The moment both vehicles were able and hit the ground is perhaps an unforgettable moment for the police force. Some have said their hearts almost had stopped when they saw their colleague's car flying through the air and silently thanked God for saving him. Both vehicles overturned. The colleague's teams arrived promptly and extracted him from the vehicle. The suspect was also seriously injured and the police officer sustained several injuries but not life threatening what do you think about this brave act by the patrol police? Feel free to leave your comments below. A man was accused of assaulting his girlfriend with a belt to prevent her from leaving the house. When the police received the report of a vehicle parked next to the gas station, They attempted to remove the man from the car, but he tried to flee, and according to previous allegations, the man had used a belt to strike the girl over a hundred times, resulting in her needing emergency hospitalization. Passenger side rear tire is blown. Back passenger tire is starting to smoke. Uh, appears he's starting to fishtail a little bit. Speeds now uh, 50 miles an hour. Just completely lost the rear tire. He's gonna be sparking here soon. I'm getting hit with the debris. Here he's gonna turn right on Dayton. We're going westbound on Dayton. We are going northbound on Elizabeth. Northbound on Elizabeth. The rear tire is completely shredded. Northbound on Augusta, approaching Route 59. Northbound Route 59, cutting off traffic, about to hit a semi. Did not make contact. Receiver 20, can you see if anybody's got some stop sticks for us? everything he had on that tire he's all rim right now perhaps fearing the consequences of his actions and upon seeing the police instead of a comply he chose to flee thinking it was the best option at the time it was truly astonishing The police sirens blared and the lights flashed as a pursuit ensured. Despite the police orders, the vehicle disregarded traffic signals and commands, but both police cars cooperated during the chase. Do we want to try and box them at all? We're in the southbound lanes, southbound lanes. Southbound lanes coming up to Butterfield. Even after the police overtook the suspect's vehicle, he continued to recklessly maneuver through traffic, crossing into oncoming lanes. Careful up here, we got a lot of traffic. He's not going to have anywhere to go if we can box him in from getting on to 88. The situation spiraled out of control as the suspect ran into a police car multiple times on Interstate 88. Okay, can somebody get on to Eastburn right now. We are getting on to Eastbound 88. He's starting to spark right now. He just struck a Warrenville car. Struck a Warrenville car. The police coordinated a pit maneuver and after considerable efforts, they managed to stop the suspect's vehicle. Hey, he 
A speeding vehicle was signaled to stop by police control. However, instead of accompanying it with the order, the vehicle attempted to accelerate, overtaking numerous other vehicles at the speed of 107 miles per hour. 107 right now. Constantly chasing lanes in an attempt to evade, the police reported the situation to the headquarters and pursued the vehicle. It seems the driver was trying to demonstrate the audacity upon seeing the police behind. With their responsibility and experience, the police would not let them escape easily. The vehicle continued to drive at high speeds, almost losing control. However, the driver returned to the lane and continued to flee. As the speed gradually decreased, the vehicle suddenly lost control and veered off the road into the trees on the side. The driver and passengers were apprehended with minor injuries that did not affect their lives. Get out of the car! Now! Get out of the car! I ain't even playing with you! Get out of the damn car! Now! Get out of the car! Stand up! Stand up! I I'm here with hunting. You just woke up? Shut your mouth! You've been driving like a madman! You ain't just woke up! Jalen Gatory. Do the four, come forward. 11 3. Around minutes to 2 p.m. on February 23, 2023, patrol officers began observing an orange Range Rover moving through. When the officers turned around to check the plate, they realized it had been switched to a 2020 Ford Eco Sport. And the patrol car activated its lights and started to follow the vehicle, but the driver quickly accelerated and fled. The police officers contacted the military agency H and reported it about the pursuit. The suspect vehicle refused to slow down and overtaking multiple vehicles in a no-passing zone and attempting to evade control. As the vehicle continued to travel at speeds exceeding 120 miles per hour, law enforcement agencies coordinated and led the pursuit. A colleague attempted to deploy the spike strips to impede the suspect's vehicle, but in the process, another vehicle was damaged. However, the suspect's vehicle continued to evade capture.
Finally, the vehicle turned onto Sydney Sand Avenue, but another officer had placed a barrier at the stopping point and apprehended the driver after he fled from the vehicle. The driver was handcuffed and taken to Crawford County Detention Center, while the passenger of the vehicle was released at the scene. <laughs> the driver with a suspended license and multiple warrants out of Fort Smith will face the consequences of his actions. A black Lexus vehicle was observed exceeding the speed limit as it passed the location of a patrol car. The police officer requested the vehicle to stop, and as the officer approached the inspect, they noticed the gun placed between the dashboard and the passenger seat. Hello? Took me out there, please. Let's stop. Driving too fast, all right? Upon requesting the driver's license, the driver confessed not to having one and provided a false name. When asked to show the gun permits for safety measures, the driver immediately fled. And driving without a license, carrying a gun without proper documentation and speeding, this could potentially lead to a dangerous pursuit for the patrolling police. The police officer quickly returned to the vehicle and initiated the chase. With many other vehicles still in motion, it became significantly challenged to determine the direction and speed of the pursuit. The fleeing vehicle reached speeds of 145 miles per hour, switching lanes and crossing all three lanes without regard for danger posed to other vehicles. When the speed reached 100 miles per hour, the police successfully performed a pit maneuver. The suspect vehicle collided with a correct concrete barrier on the left side before rolling onto the right side. The police approached and assisted the driver in exiting the vehicle. The suspect was ultimately apprehended and charged with multiple offenses, including illegal firearm possessions, driving without a license, speeding, and reckless evasion. Sarge, you okay? He's good. He's alert and talking. Holy shit. It's a result, it's the Michigan State Police received a call out about a robbery in Gunsarch in Bonavista Township. The local police department identified a suspicious vehicle and issued a traffic stop. The suspect, a man, fled from police recklessly speeding and ignoring multiple stop signs until lost control and crashed into a patrol car on the opposite lane. <laughs> Right through the runway. Crash, 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 crash. Shock. And fire. Get EMS here now in front of Charter Township. You just wrecked out into Buena Vista. The collision caused nearby power poles and transformers to explode, with power lights and poles falling into the patrol car. An immediate rescue operation was carried out by the fire department. And the patrol officers felt helpless as their colleagues trapped in the vehicle with no immediate assistance. They expressed frustration with the slow response of the local fire department. Watch the water! Do you hear me? You got a whole fucking telephone pole on you and it's live! Get 
Yeah, he's good. He's talking. Can you guys, let's go around and get him. I don't want to touch his car with the whole... Watch it, all this shit's still alive, dude. Okay. Sarge, you okay? He's good, he's alert and talking. Holy shit. This was the guy running? Yes. Is this the this is the guy that was yes. had a gun? Yes. Shooting or whatever? Yes. A sergeant in the patrol car sustained severe injuries and was rescued with the help of the fire department. The suspects were later apprehended and faced multiple charges. In your opinion, how many years of imprisonment do you think he deserves to pay for what he has done? A dark-colored SUV was speeding, exceeding the speed limit, and is disregarding traffic laws. Patrol officers attempt to stop the suspect, but they fled and speed exceeding 110 miles per hour. The pursuit continued through densely populated residential areas, posing risks to residents and other vehicles on the road. As the suspect continued to flee at high speeds, the police intervened to prevent the escalating danger. Eventually, the suspect's vehicle overturned after police conducted the safe intervention technique. The vehicle veered into a nearby ditch, and due to the overturned vehicle, both the driver and passengers were unable to exit and required medical assistance. Y'all hear me? Can you hear me? Are there any guns in the car? Stay where you're at right now, okay? Okay, l listen, I can't get to you right now. Stay where you're at, okay? Rescue personnel arrived at the scene and extracted both individuals from the vehicle. Both were determined to have no serious injuries. Subsequently, the police searched the vehicle and discovered a backpack containing multiple syringes, several plastic bags and a scale for packaging. Additionally, the police also found the firearm with 19 rounds. Both suspects were taken to the hospital for treatment, but the police later discovered more syringes hidden on the person of the suspects. Both were then charged with multiple offenses, including drug possession and brakeless driving. a green Hyundai car, violating traffic rules, was detected by the patrolling force and pursued. Upon noticing the police car behind, the green vehicle abruptly swerved to the right and fled at high speed, reaching up to 100 miles per hour.
the driver recklessly evaded other vehicles, disregarding the danger to themselves and other road participants. The fleeing car narrowly avoided collisions with all other traffic. When the offender finally made a right turn and reduced speed, the police quickly closed in. However, the driver persisted in attempting to escape. The vehicle collided with a roadside trash bin but continued to flee. The police executed a pit maneuver shortly afterward, successfully stopping the driver, charged with appropriate offenses and taken to Washington County for legal proceedings. A speeding green Hyundai was captured by the radar on a patrolling police vehicle, prompting an emergency response as the police initiated a pursuit. As the vehicle turned south, the suspect accelerated and fled. The vehicle reached speeds exceeding 110 miles per hour. The police attempted to approach closely to confirm if there were any children in the car, but no one other than the driver was detected. Despite attempts to stop the fleeing vehicle using the front bumper of the patrol car, the intervention seemed to have initially succeeded, causing the suspect's vehicle to be thrown off the road into the opposing lane. However, the offender managed to get back onto the main lane and continued to evade. Moving at high speed, the vehicle nearly lost control as it moved, veering dangerously towards the median. This scenario repeated itself once again, with the suspect deciding to switch to the opposing left lane and driving against traffic. Recognizing the recklessness and heightened danger, the police attempted to approach and executed a second pit intervention. Just as the suspect returned to the main lane and slowed down, they lost control and collided with a tree on the side of the road. The police chief of Tattnall County received an emergency report requesting assistance in pursuing a vehicle that had kidnapped a hostage. The perpetrator had forcibly entered the victim's home, wielding a firearm. The victim's family, along with the police, was already in pursuit, and law enforcement was taking measures to intercept this pursuit. The kidnapper used the firearm to attack the family member held hostage and also targeted a police officer involved in the pursuit. Throughout the pursuit, the police consistently attempted to approach and intervened multiple times. The suspect's vehicle continued to move at high speed, with the rear bumper almost detached.
When the police accelerated to perform a pit maneuver, the suspect unexpectedly decelerated to evade the maneuver. Another police vehicle joined in this dangerous pursuit. Witness a series of intervention tactics executed by the police. Eventually, the police managed to bring the pursuit to a halt. However, the suspect forced the hostage out of the vehicle and fled into the woods. He was subsequently shot by multiple law enforcement officers. Fortunately, the hostage was able to escape safely from the captor. A stolen vehicle is fleeing on the road, pursued by the police. As soon as the suspect notices the police behind, the vehicle accelerates dangerously, weaving through traffic. The patrol team also joins the chase, with police officers being the primary unit pursuing the stolen vehicle. The suspect appears confident as they skillfully overtake numerous vehicles. However, that confidence is short-lived as the police execute a rear intervention, causing a collision that renders both vehicles ineffective. The suspect quickly opens the car door and attempts to escape, but another police vehicle arrives and officers apprehend the suspect not far away. Fortunately, none of the officers were injured in this situation. Through today's video, we have witnessed the importance of the police force in maintaining social security. We hope these community education videos become a source of inspiration and enjoyment for you. If you find the video meaningful, please share it with your loved ones. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on new messages and meaningful stories. Goodbye, and see you again.